Thank you very much for tuning in to this episode. We're going to run a quick little contest. The first person in the comments that posts what this game is, I will hook you up with a $10 store card of your choice. Post in the comments and let me know. Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and guess what? Call of Duty Black Ops 4 has been revealed. Everybody is excited, right? Well, maybe not exactly. <laughs> But it's that time of year again, folks. It's May. What's May? The time where they reveal new Call of Duty games, where they start showing them off. And then, of course, E3, they're going to like have like a big single-player campaign thing. Except they're not doing campaign this year for Black Ops 4. The first Call of Duty game that has completely eschewed campaign altogether. That is a really interesting idea. Instead, they have decided that they're going to replace it with a new Battle Royale mode called blackout this is quite a gamble is this a gamble that shows that maybe call of duty is at the end times at being the dominant console game let's talk about it for better or worse call of duty has always been a juggernaut in the industry ever since call of duty modern warfare this was one of the top selling games of 2007 it was only bested by games like halo 3 and it was like pretty much neck and neck if i understand right with the sales figures and then pretty much ever since then, Call of Duty has always been on top. They were like on the top in 2008 with World at War, definitely on the top with 2009 with Modern Warfare 2, and the list goes on and on. Even when they have games that have disappointing sales like Infinite Warfare, they tend to still be the top selling console games of the year. It's just crazy when you think about it. Now that being said, you might notice I'm wearing a Call of Duty World War II hat, and uh, you notice I don't actually have it over there. That's because I tend not to buy Call of Duty games at launch or anything like that. I just do a pre-order scan where I pre-order the game and get all kinds of sweet swag like that hat and that little uh, zombie statue you might be seeing right there. And check this out. A ballin' ass poster, two of them. And all kinds of other great things. I mean, it is the time that people really like to hype up on Call of Duty. Now, the funny thing about it is, it seems like the first time since Infinite Warfare, we're seeing a lot of naysayers with the reveal of this one. And it's not even because they required you to pay $80 in order to play a classic Call of Duty game you want. It just seems like Call of Duty as a whole is no longer in the mindshare of a lot of casual gamers. After all, we are living in a world where games like Fortnite are the number one played games on the planet, and Call of Duty is no longer the king of that title. Now, of course, most casual gamers don't really keep up with games, but you know they've heard of games like Fortnite and PUBG. Surely they have taken notice of that, especially when these games are not only on the top of the console market share, but also on the top of mobile market share. Fortnite has been a juggernaut on the App Store, and PUBG's been doing pretty sweet for itself. So, I think it's a really interesting time for Call of Duty that they're taking a lot of gambles, a lot of risks, in order to try to remain relevant, in order to try to stay on the top. But when you notice things like removing the single player in order to throw in a clearly tacked on Battle Royale mode that they couldn't even show us the gameplay for, they just basically talked about some of the promises that they had with this battle royale mode and then you also have to factor in the fact that they're launching this call of duty in october now that might not seem like a significant detail to some people but that's actually hugely significant when you consider that this is the first call of duty game since call of duty 2 came out on the launch of the xbox 360 that's launched in october instead of november that is a huge deal when you consider that because Call of Duty has always been an early November game. It's been infamous for that and a lot of game studios are afraid of releasing their games at the same time as Call of Duty. So they will delay their game or release it early in order to avoid the wake of Call of Duty. But now the tides are turning since we have Red Dead Redemption 2 coming out this year and Rockstar has always been a huge fan favorite studio. And the first Red Dead Redemption was a huge game, and you can easily bet that Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be selling millions and millions of copies on the week it comes out. 
So that's why Call of Duty has bumped its time up because they probably have some inside details that maybe Red Dead's going to take that November slot and they don't want to compete with that. You know, they don't want to mess with that at all. They want to get in on the ground floor in October and uh, cut them sales in quick. But then again, you never know. Maybe this Battle Royale mode is exactly what Call of Duty needs in order to maintain its mind share and market share with gamers. I'm really curious to see what you guys think about it though. Do you guys really play the Call of Duty games? I'm not like a huge fan of the series, but I do enjoy playing the campaigns, zombies and multiplayer on occasion. They really are well-made games. It's just that they feel so blase now. They're just so boring and just generic in comparison to a lot of the multiplayer shooters that we get today, like Overwatch, Rainbow Six Siege, Fortnite, and so on. It's just such a dying genre. But you know what? It is one that is really effective and solid. So can it So can it stand the test of time? I guess we will find out this holiday season. But let me know your guys' bets in the comments below. And of course, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, what game do you think this is? Tell me all about it. But till then, down Phoenix out. I want to thank you guys very much for sticking around to the end of the episode where I usually like to share a lot of fun little things like reading comments or showing little funny bits or things like that. Sadly, we don't have a bit like that this time, but I want to remind you guys that I do Final Fantasy Fridays. That's where I stream Final Fantasy games every Friday. Right now, I am working on Final Fantasy IV for the PSP, and it's a great time. It's an excellent game. I highly recommend you check it out. It's definitely the best version of Final Fantasy IV. So if you're interested in checking that out, don't forget to check the links in the description where you can subscribe to my Twitch channel. That way you will be notified whenever I have new streams coming up. But till then, down Phoenix South. Streaming again. I've been streaming, you have to refresh. Put your fucking uh, craisins down, you fat fuck, and put the stream. I up. am currently streaming. You have to refresh. Guys. I, I I can see it. I refresh like Okay, refresh. Times. Yeah, craisins, motherfuckers. Look at you. Look at you all. Blueberry flavor. The fucking cam in the corner and all this nonsense. <laughs>